Will Devilman get a new anime in 2022? I don't know about that, but... Bastard is... What? February 3rd, 2022. Bastard has been confirmed for a new anime to come. This year! What? It'll stream worldwide on Netflix, but when exactly? I don't know. It doesn't say. What's the big deal? What is Bastard anyways? Bastard is the most heavy metal dark fantasy anime, but you might not like it. I'll admit that I haven't read much of Bastard, but I can assure you that the tone is very naughty. Some of the earliest chapters debuted in Shonen Jump, but most of it was in the seinen theme Ultra Jump, which can give you a bit of an idea. The colored artwork is inspired by fantasy epics, but the actual story is like reading something from Gona Guy when he's not taking it seriously. I think there's an arc that gets super dark on Devilman's level, but the majority of Bastard is, um... Imagine the heavy metal album covers from Man o War, but with the lowbrow humor from a gag manga by Gona Guy. There's a lot of erotic material, and I wish I could say more, but I never got very far in reading it. And the last time I looked, it must have been over seven years ago. It's the type of series that I'm sure some people will find degrading and probably disgusting, and others will say this is the hottest anime ever. It kind of goes both ways too, I mean you got uh, Dark Schneider's kind of nude, but then again, a lot of heavy metal stuff resonates with that. The pivotal pose of the triumphant warrior, and there's the girl by his legs. I'm currently starting the manga from scratch and making comparisons with the OVA. Oh yeah, there's a 6 episode OVA adaptation, some pachinko footage, some games, but this is the first time the series has gotten anything modern. The other problem is the bastard manga has been on hiatus since 2010. There's still a lot of volumes to cover, but there's many other questions, such as how explicit will this adaptation be? Some fans wanted to tone it down just a little, while others say to go all the way, and I mean all the way. One of the last few chapters that's available is, um... Woo! <laughs> Such a going to guy moment. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a lot of woman. <laughs> One of the main demonic villains is named Porno, which kinda says something. We also don't know if this new anime will make up its own ending, or will it just suddenly stop? Actually, we don't even know how many episodes we're getting. And then there's the studio, Leiden Films, or Leiden Films, I don't know. Since they're also part of the production of the Veroni Kenshin reboot, I guess Bastard is in good hands? I haven't seen much of Blade of the Immortal, so, um, eh. This is the first time I am not well informed to provide you with accurate news. Usually, when something gets an anime, I'm like, Hey, I know what that is. I've been wanting to see an anime of that for years, but not in this case. And I haven't even told you about the main character, Dark Schneider, or that he's inhabiting the body of a preteen boy and can only be released by a virgin's kiss. I don't even know if that stays relevant for the rest of the series. For all I know, Dark Schneider is probably no longer bound by those rules. Bastard has often been recommended to me as a manly type of series and... I don't know if it is, I haven't given it my full attention, until now. Meanwhile, there's also Kurehime, which is a similar manga, but it's a fantasy western starring a hot witch. The series doesn't have an anime, I just thought I'd share that. Lastly, where's the Fist of the North Star reboot? Come on, everyone is getting a reboot. My name is Alex, and thank you for watching my channel, The Anime Hero.